Britain is part of Hong Kong's history, and Hong Kong is part of Britain's history. When Britain handed Hong Kong back to China in 1997, China promised to maintain one country, two systems for 50 years. That means Hong Kong residents could enjoy a high degree of autonomy not available to their Chinese counterparts north of the border, like freedom of press, rule of law, and a free market. But in the last few years, several events have raised fears that Hong Kong's freedoms are increasingly being eroded. The latest? Last week, a fifth person working for the same publishing house and bookstore, The Mighty Current and Causeway Bay Books, went missing. The store sells political gossip books critical of the Communist Party. Despite media reports that Mr. Lee faxed a handwritten letter to his bookstore saying he was okay, some people still find the disappearances suspicious. In September 2015, the Council of the University of Hong Kong rejected human rights scholar Johannes Chan as the next vice chancellor. He was rejected after pro Beijing newspapers showed his involvement with the Occupy movement that called for free elections in Hong Kong. Activists and students said this was infringing on academic freedom. In September 2014, tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets after the Chinese government issued a decision that candidates for Hong Kong's leader must be vetted by a pro-Beijing committee. This sparked the Occupy movement that lasted more than 10 weeks. Yet, after paralyzing downtown Hong Kong, the electoral system hasn't been reformed. In January 2014, Kevin Lau, the outspoken former editor of Hong Kong newspaper Ming Pao, was ousted from the top job. A month later, he was stabbed multiple times. The two men were caught and received 19 years in prison. These events raised concerns about freedom of speech in the city, although the motive of the attack was never discovered. Perhaps the most successful battle for Hong Kong's autonomy in recent years was led by a 15-year-old boy. In 2012, student activist Joshua Wong, who would eventually be the face of the Occupy movement, led thousands of students and parents to protest against a proposal to introduce patriotic Chinese education in school. The government eventually shelved the plan. As the five people affiliated with Mighty Current remains missing, many Hong Kong residents are now more concerned than ever just how much their civil liberties will fade away by China before 2047.